Initial coin offering, initial exchange offering, and initial DEX offering are all ways in which crypto projects launch and raise funds. But how do they work and differ? These three types of crypto crowdfunding work similarly to how an IPO works. While in an IPO, a company offers its stock to the public, in an ICO, IEO, and IDO, companies sell digital tokens. However, they all operate differently. Like an IPO, an ICO allows startup companies to raise money by issuing a new cryptocurrency to investors, typically before a token or project is fully developed. The crowdfunding process is entirely run by the project itself. The project will offer newly minted tokens on their website for anyone or select investors to buy to raise funds directly from the public. Investors typically participate in hopes that a new token will increase in value in the future. One thing to keep in mind is that most, if not all, ICOs are not regulated. So it's important to do your research before investing in one, as the potential for fraud is high. Ethereum's ICO is one successful example, which raised over $18.4 million back in July 2014 at roughly 31 cents per ETH. ICOs peaked in the bull market frenzy of 2017 and are not as popular nowadays, not least due to regulatory issues. IEOs, on the other hand, are run by a centralized cryptocurrency exchange. With an IEO, a project, rather than issuing its own digital tokens and trying to sell them to investors themselves, goes through an existing cryptocurrency exchange. Now, this can give investors the perception that IEOs are safer, as they seem vetted by the exchange beforehand. However, this is not necessarily the case, so always do your own research. Compared to ICOs, IEOs typically give startup projects access to a bigger pool of potential investors. A good example of a successful IEO is the Fetch.ai IEO, which raised $6 million in February 2019 on the Binance IEO launchpad. And finally, we have an IDO. IDOs are similar to IEOs, except that the token offering is run on a decentralized exchange or launchpad instead of a centralized one. Here, a project lists its tokens via a DEX, where buyers and sellers interact with one another through a liquidity pool. This means that traders can buy tokens directly from the exchange without going through a middleman, which can cut costs for traders or the project. One successful IDO is by UMA Protocol, which launched on Uniswap in April 2020 with an initial price of 26 cents. So in layman's terms, if ICO was buying art from an artist, IEO is buying it from an art gallery, and IDO from a flea market. So let us know, have you participated in an ICO, IEO, or IDO?